Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. <laughs> Let me get one thing straight with everyone here. Not only do I love these region-locked challenges, but after a while they start to become a part of me, who I am. I'm linked to the very worlds I've been living in, and while that may scare me at times, I'm always ready to jump back in, so as the possibility of insanity barrels towards me, today I'm going to be showing you how to link your very existence with the city of Riften, and no, not to become an ever-living and all-powerful god like usual, because Riften is far too fun to limit ourselves to skill grinding and potion exploits. Today I'm going to be showing you how to leave your mark on this city in a new way, of course, by exploring as many activities that are available to you within town, but also how to immerse yourself fully as a citizen in the armpit of Skyrim's butt crack following the core concepts of faith, family, and occupation in an effort to answer the question, can you play Skyrim without leaving Riften? Alright, you know the drill. Intro, character, binds, console command over to Riften. No wild mumbo jumbo about getting this one started, but we are playing on survival mode, so take note of that. Hell now, aren't you putting on quite the show? Wow, what a warm welcome to town. Now that you're in town, you should get your feet wet literally, by jumping into the river for a naked lizard swim. The confidence to launch oneself 30 feet into what's likely a murky trench of goo and poverty should impress the locals enough to get you your first job offer. Running a little light in the pockets lot? Brynjolf, I don't even have pockets. What are you talking about? Now one could view Brynjolf's offer for what it is, exploiting a poor, naked lizard man who's new in town for financial gain. However, you should look at this as a win. One minute in town and you've already got work to perform. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Before you do this task, though, you you should probably get a lockpick first. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get a lockpick quick. Where the hell can I find? Okay, uh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna fail the first quest. <laughs> no, uh, maybe he has one. But I don't have money. Who can I sell it to? Can I sell it to her? Sell the ingredients. Sell the apples. We have eight gold. That should be enough to buy one lockpick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! He has one lockpick! Oh my god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yes. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Brynjolf. Make sure to take a brief moment now and gloat over the victim of your crime as the claw of justice clamps down on them. Serves them right. You may immediately want to rush on over to the Thieves' Guild and continue with the life of crime. I wouldn't blame you, it fits the theme of the town. Half the population of Riften is either criminals or guards. It's like Skyrim's own little GTA server, just without the flying motorcycles and 12 year olds. It actually just hit me now while writing this script that Riften is the only town in Skyrim that doesn't have annoying children roaming the streets. Hey, wanna play tag? Probably because they're too busy getting Stanley yelnatsed over at the orphanage. No, no, instead what you want to do is take up some honest labor, that way you can have a more immersive and justifiable descent into becoming the eventual scumbag you'll turn into, so grab yourself a woodcutter's axe and head on over to the chopping block, but be careful. The woodcutting industry in Rifted is cutthroat, so expect some competition. I'm tired of watching. I want to play. Can I have a turn? Mom said it's my yes. turn to use the chopping block. I hate this guy. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough. Oh, the Riften Fishery puts coin in your pocket? Cool, so you don't need the wood chopping block for, you know what, fuck you. We're going fishing is better anyway. I mean, who, who likes to chop wood? It's not even cool. I don't even want to chop wood. Yes, I am aware that going out onto the docks kind of breaks the usual rules we put in place for these videos, but today we're allowing it because I said so. I don't think they're hiring anyone at the moment. God, they're not hiring either. There are no jobs in Riften. This is why everyone becomes thieves. Okay, well, the good news here is that you get to be your own boss. Set your own hours. So kick your feet up, cast your line, but beware, there are plenty of dangers to look out for while fishing in Skyrim, like pollution. These guys again. We're here to teach you a lesson. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> and the scariest danger of all, Skyrim Anniversary Edition Dialogue. What? No! You expect me to believe that? Seriously, what? what is this? It's like the equivalent of two Word documents having a discussion. It speaks the truth. Here, I want you to have this. Don't ask, just take it. All right, so fishing sucks too, but it looks like the chopping block is freed up, so give that a try because there's no way that, oh my God, he's back. He wants his block back. He wants his block back. I'm not letting him take the block back. Oh my God, he's going for the block. Oh my God, this guy, just get out of here. Look at him. 
get no hesitation. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. This fucking guy. Okay, at this point, I give you permission to snap. We tried playing by the rules. We tried to be a lawful citizen for once in one of these damn videos, but this guy has it coming to him. Might I suggest stalking as a valid form of retaliation? If Riften is the best Skyrim has to offer, I may as well turn back right now and just head for home. Dude, get, then leave! What's he doing? He's just standing there looking at the cheese and meat. Working at the Riften fishery is tough. The bunkhouse is for the working man. Not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. The working man. The the working man. That's what they call him. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough. 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 Yeah, crime is way cooler anyway. I work at the Rift and Fishery, motherfucker. It won't take you long while trying to be a good person to eventually look right in the face of the entire town and say, Fuck you! And your eyebrows! Wipe down this. Is this a Breaking Bad video now? Oh, it's a Breaking Bad video now. So sure, maybe you'll have to spend a short time in jail, but hey, the Rift in jail can't be so bad if prisoners are doing everything that they can to get back in. Hey, Branchy, dude, you're out of jail. Are you going back to jail? There's no way he gets back into his cell, right? <laughs> I can't believe, this is unbelievable. <laughs> All right, I got a new house. I can sleep here, what? This has nothing to do with the overall mission of this video, but uh, I just thought this was crazy. Has anyone ever seen this before? In order to exact your revenge on the powers that be, head on down to the Ratway sewers where the Thieves Guild hangs out. Right before you get there though, you can pick up this gross little rat via one of the Creation Club editions from Anniversary Edition. Scritch! Everybody say hi to Scritch, be nice to Scritch. Now in terms of pet cuteness, his whiskers, horrendous. Absolutely disgusting, I mean vile. His nose, very boopable. Teeth, putrid. Breath, likely awful. While Scritch is basically useless, I can't help but find him a bit endearing. He reminds me of my ugly yet lovable dog that I grew up with. Rest in peace, Nelson. There's also an anniversary edition quest in the same spot, but we'll touch on this later. Virgin Mary, is that you? Introduce yourself to your new gang, but make sure you aren't followed. They aren't too keen on helping out new members in trouble. Well, well. Call me a <laughs> Br Brynjolf, Brynjolf, I can't, <laughs> I can't have this conversation right now. After getting ran out of the logging business, fishing being deadlier than you imagined, and learning that prison is actually tight as fuck, you can finally break bad while also making a bit of a name for yourself around town. Get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. What did you want? I think you know what I want. Where can I learn more about magic? Oh, yeah, yeah, for the Thieves Guild. Uh, ow, ow. Okay, 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 I give up. Stop, stop, you're hurting me. I hope you had about enough of that and you're ready to pay up. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. No, you're going to break it. So, can I interest you in anything today? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just here to browse and to fuck up Thank your you store. Kind. Yeah, how you like that? What if I take your cheese and... Uh. So, can a dirty, filthy lizard? <laughs> demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves. Okay, Scritch. Now I command you to scr scr Scritch. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Yeah, well, you'll have to make do without your cheese. Why, you little filter? By order of the yarn, stop right there. Shit. <laughs> Take your gold and leave me in peace. Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. All right, making a name for yourself, I see. You know, I'm proud of you. After failing your way through the first Thieves Guild quest, now you get to go through the exciting process of listening to what feels like 45 minutes of the most boring exposition dialogue of all time. They just don't stop talking. I will say though, your new gang, they're awfully nice. Almost too nice. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. You're making waves around here. You're pretty tough. I respect that. Do they know what our track record is so far? You can't complete any more main missions for the Thieves Guild without leaving town, but they do have an unlimited number of randomly generating Radiant quests. You can get these quests by talking to either Vicious from Netflix Cowboy Bebop or Drunken Captain Price. I had all the fishing numbers and bedlam jobs. All the Radiant quests have really cool names like Heist, Burglary, Sweep, Shill, and Fishing. If only the quests were nearly as cool as their names suggested, because they all boil down to walking into private property dressed in your totally not a member of the notorious gang of thieves outfit. I know thieves killed armor when I see it. You're not fooling anyone. Damn it. 
I've been caught. Finding an item and heading back. But hey, it's work, so get after it. Go make some money. The city in which these jobs take place in is completely random, so the real fun comes from not the job itself, but from continually quitting your assigned work only to ask for more work and then be heralded as a real go-getter. Finally, someone with backbone. You can't keep quitting jobs when it strikes your fancy. Keep dropping these jobs. Finally, someone with backbone. You can't keep quitting jobs. Keep this up and you'll be rich enough to retire before you know it. Are you bloody serious? It's not the gold you should be worried about. The validation of your peers is the main currency we operate on on this channel. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Of course, thieving isn't the only side gig available in town. Quests are aplenty in Riften. But before we move on, I have to ask you all an important question. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? The day-to-day -day life in Riften can be hard, so finding a partner that you can experience the ups as well as the downs of life with is tantamount to becoming one with the city that you're both stuck in. Love is intoxicating, love is maddening even, but above all, love should be a fulfilling and healthy experience for both you and your partner. So let me be your guide today into the dating world of Riften and let's learn about Skyrim lovemaking together. Love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. The priest Marimal can give you a crash course on fictional fornication if you need a reminder on how this works but I'll help explain things along the way so you don't get confused. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. We needed an excuse when making this game to let the players get married, so in an effort to not write in a small amount of well-fleshed-out spouses, we gave the player a shit ton of low-quality options so they can fill in the blanks on their own. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck. A person dumb enough to waste 200 bucks on one of my stupid necklaces can try and get laid even though no one else in this universe ever wears one. People in Skyrim respond to deeds. You will find more people interested in your love if you help them. Or if you just give them cash. Will you marry me? Well, yes. Are you interested in me? Yeah. It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. So be it. Let's go get married. <laughs> it was that easy. God, I love Skyrim. I love Riften. But are you really going to settle for some cheap 500 gold street bussy? No, no, no. As Marimal said, the people of Skyrim respond to deeds, and there's plenty of work to be found in town if you want to search for a better spouse while keeping Mercurio as a backup option. What's he gonna do? Quit his job that you're paying him for? We don't have enough time today to cover every single quest in depth, but there are a few that stick out, and together, we can assign each NPC a spousal approval score and find out who our best match is. Early upon your arrival, you'll find fellow thief Sapphire berating Shatter on the bridge about a debt that he owes. Last warning, pay up or else. <laughs> this is how I intimidate people who rip up the Thieves Guild. Oh, you don't know I'm a member yet? Yeah, just joined. I'm pretty new, I'm trying to make an impression on the higher ups. Now, I tried to help him out several times, but I wasn't able to advance the quest no matter how hard I tried. I don't have any business with you. I don't have any business with you. So in an effort to fix it, we dumped Sapphire in the river. The quest still didn't work. Sapphire gets a final spousal approval score of 0%. She's dead. And Shatter gets a final score of 10%, since he has a stable job. Veckle the Man offers you a quest to go retrieve a book. It's out of town though, so you can't complete the quest. Veckle gets a spousal approval score of 12% because he's armed, and I don't want any trouble. There's a dead thief outside the Thieves Guild entrance with a note carrying an anniversary edition quest. Quest. Again, this quest will take you outside of town so you can't actually complete it, but you get to use a secret phrase on the beggar Snilf to advance the quest which has you robbing Nivenor in town. She doesn't seem to mind you walking in her home wearing a thief outfit, nor does she seem to mind you sitting down for dinner. With my husband's newfound religion. Oh, husband, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. Snilf gets a spousal approval score of 20% because I love charity and his standards are probably low, while Nivenor gets a 40% because I don't see a husband anywhere. Medesi has another fetch quest, and I'm tired of talking about fetch quests. 3%. Savannah is the orphan daughter slash assistant to Helga, the owner of Helga's bunkhouse and the fist that introduced themselves to my face earlier. Now, savannah has got some problems with Helga. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? All right, I like what I'm hearing so far. I'd like to see her squirm. Same objective, Svana, but we have different, uh, <laughs> methods. I can't even. Savannah wants you to embarrass Helga by, get this, retrieving a gemstone that she gives to each of her partners after betting them and then showing her those gemstones. Sadly, one of the partners is just outside of town, so you can't fully complete the quest, but the other two are right in town. Indarin is pretty irrelevant, but Bali is not only the owner of the Riften fishery where we used to work, but he's also married to Nivenor, which means we have our first retroactive scoring replacement in the inaugural Riften spousal approval rankings. Nivenor is now at 80%, and let's be real here. If word gets around that I betted her, 
They'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. If these men are so embarrassed to have slept with Helga, then her Nordesi must be absolutely wild if they're going to keep evidence of their deed on their person. For this reason alone, I can't score Helga any lower than a 90%. But unfortunately for all of us, none of these characters that we ranked can actually be married in Skyrim except... <laughs> is the blacksmith in town and he's the perfect option to become your spouse when living a region locked life in Riften. He's fairly easy to please, his quest involves retrieving 10 fire salts, which translates to roughly about 25 minutes of punching an old lady in the face and reloading your save until her inventory refreshes. Do this and not only will Balamond inexplicably fall in love with you over this ridiculous task. Amazing. These must have been very hard to come by. You don't even understand. <laughs> you don't understand what I had to do. Yeah. But Balamond is also kind enough to teach you how to be a blacksmith. He'll even do it for free, provided your pickpocket skill is high enough. You should tell the priest we're getting married. They'll take things from there. You, you should slow things down a little bit. <laughs> Okay, Mercurio, it's just a joke that we play. You'll probably need a new outfit for the wedding, and nothing says I love you like let me borrow your clothes. The wedding is soon. It'll be a good day. I'm glad you're so thrilled about our wedding day. <laughs> it's so stupid. Let's break into my fiance's house so we can steal some clothes. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Once married, you get to live in the house rent free. You even have a stepson, apparently. I used to live at the orphanage. My ma and my da left me there when I was a baby. Oh, well, I don't want you either. Get out of my house. And every single day, Balamond will pay you 100 gold. Has the store made any money? It has. Here, this is your half, love. Now, I've covered a lot of content within Riften so far, and I've even left out a ton. There's that anniversary quest I mentioned earlier. It was bugged, and I wasn't even able to get it started. Ah, uh, no! No, <laughs> it gets rid of the whole sword! There's a similar quest to Balamond's right across the market. There's the sewers behind the Thieves' Guild with some enemies down there. I could have grinded out more Thieves' Guild missions, or I could have even grinded skills like I usually end up doing in these videos to reach some arbitrary dollar or skill amount, but... Remember what our goal was from the very start of this video, to become one with the city that you live in using the three core tenants, occupation, family, and f There's one large piece of content still left in Riften to look into. Down in the Ratway sewers, there's a property just outside the Thieves' Guild called Shadowfoot Sanctum. This is another anniversary edition item added to the game, and it's the only ownable property that you can obtain without leaving town. So you need 7,000 gold, which really isn't a lot, but in order to accomplish your goal of faith, why not try just inventing your own religion? Another corpse for the pile. Oh my god, there's so many red dots. Will they back me up if the guards attack? You know what? Come on. Come on in, guards. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Go, Mercurio, get out of the way! Holy crap, they're in here! Oh, I'm gonna get the entire guild murdered. You know, if they kill all the guards... Oh. I don't think I need to, but let me explain what's happening here in case you're confused. Resisting arrest in Skyrim means you're a kill on sight target for guards, even if you only have a bounty of five gold. It's also apparently not against the law to lead an entire guard regiment into a trap, albeit this happened by complete accident. It's also not technically stealing in the world of Skyrim if someone is dead, so let's chalk all these guards up as a donation to our new home in the sewers and as a sacrifice to our new made up on the spot deity, the guard god. Mm. Looks like a lot of people died here. By the way, I'm an empath, so that's how I know. Blessings of the guard god upon ye. Yeah, yeah, they're not too happy with us. Take him out, boys. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? In three, two, murder. Oh my god, he just got destroyed. Hey, are you breaking into my house? My husband lives there. What is. <laughs> No. No. 
the guard god has accepted our offering. And so should your landlord as you move into your fully furnished sewer home. Go ahead and convince your husband Balman to move in. That way he can spend less time taking care of his adopted son and more time giving you money. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You are now a certified citizen of Riften, covering all three important aspects of this meaningless digital life. All in all, Riften is an absolutely massive town in terms of content, the largest we've covered in this series, and it was by far the most fun to play through when you compare it to Solitude and Whiterun. There's a ton of stuff that I wasn't even able to cover in this video, so if you guys do want the full VODs of the streams that we did, I'll be uploading those onto a second channel linked down below, so go subscribe if you want to watch future VODs of these challenges. But wait, there's one last thing we haven't quite finished yet. Like